And Lyme disease has, over the past couple of years, become a huge concern. And there's a lot we know about Lyme disease, but there's also a lot we don't know. So what we do is we collect the ticks and we also collect samples from small mammals and we are going to test them for Lyme disease and these other microbes to see the prevalence rates in this park in Wisconsin. So we collect the ticks by what's called flagging. So we drag a very soft white cloth around in fields and brush and the ticks cling onto it and it's really we collected 150 ticks one day just using that method. They climb on there and they latch on and we just pick them right off with the tweezers. We got one. It's a deer tick. Really tiny. So once they're back in the lab, we dry them. It takes up to a week depending on how big the ticks are. Then we extract all the DNA from them. So we then test the DNA to confirm the species of tick that we're looking for, which is the deer tick, also known as the black-legged tick, scientific name Ixodes scapularis. And then we test, the, test all that extract DNA to see if any of the target microbes we're looking for are present in those ticks. I am definitely a laboratory at heart, so I'm used to being in the hospital, in the basement, no windows or anything, to coming out and primarily working in the woods every morning. And it's been really nice. So it's, it's a different change for me and I really like it. It's, it's a lot of fun being out here and you sort of develop personal relationships and professional relationships with your advisors. And I've really enjoyed it. I like being outside.